I decided I wanted to black out everything on my truck, even though it's considered blacked out. So this meant the exhaust tip as well. Every car or truck I've ever owned has had a chrome exhaust tip, and I just wanted to get away from that. This is a 3.5 inch by 9 inch chrome exhaust tip from a 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. I started by sanding with a 400 grit sandpaper using a circular overlapping pattern. Then I used a 1500 grit sandpaper. After the sanding I cleaned it with dish soap, dried it, then wiped it down with rubbing alcohol. I didn't use a primer prior to painting because I've used VHT or very high temp paint in the past and it has many of the same qualities as primer, especially if you cure it and bake it properly. However, there is VHT primer available to purchase if you decide to do this or something similar, but whatever you do, don't use a non high temp primer and high temp paint, especially if you bake it or decide to use it on a high temp part of your vehicle. This is what the exhaust tip looked like after being painted. I applied a light tack coat, then did a full coat, dried it for one hour, did a light sanding with 1500 grit sandpaper on some small imperfections, then applied a second coat and let it dry for an hour, and then also made sure it was completely dry before I started the baking process. This is a three and a half inch exhaust tip. It was chrome, sanded it down, made sure there were no shiny spots left on it. Used a 400 grit and then a 1500 grit. Also making sure I got all the way around to the inside of the rolled end of the tailpipe tip. And then I used this VHT flame proof which is good to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's also got a uh, ceramic coating that's in the, the paint itself. I am not using a primer. I could have got some VHT primer. I'm gonna try just straight paint 250 degrees for 30 minutes, cool for 30 minutes, and then go to 450 degrees for 30 minutes, let it cool for 30 minutes. And then, and unfortunately, the highest temperature this goes to is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So I won't be able to do 600 degrees for 30 minutes. So I'll probably just do it twice at that temperature. And the other thing that I'm doing is I've, with the toaster oven is I got this rack all the way to the top. And basically what I'm gonna do is put the tailpipe tip on here. And I've got this piece in here to keep the rolled in from sitting directly on the metal, only because of, as it goes through the heating process, I don't want it to take the paint off and end up with a line where there's no paint or just basically having it rub on there. So then when you get everything done, you got a bare spot on it. So I'm gonna hang this in there and go through the process. After all the baking was done and it looked pretty good, I decided it looked too plain, so I decided to go with a crack black with a red undercoat. I like this color because in the shade it looks all black, but in the sun, the red really pops out. This didn't really turn out the way I wanted, so I sanded it, then reapplied some VHT black on top of some red caliper paint. I let it dry for an hour, then sanded it just enough to get the red to come out, giving it a rustic look. I went back through the baking process. I applied two coats of VHT clear coat after baking the paint, then went back through the baking process for the clear coat itself. I then polished the exhaust tip and applied a coat of wax.
not something that will really be noticed but I like the way it turned out it gets away from the common chrome tips that you see on the majority of vehicles decide to paint and bake your exhaust tip you won't really get any fumes or smoke until you hit about the 450 degree Fahrenheit range it's not likely but if you don't bake and put the exhaust tip on right after painting you run the risk of the exhaust tip smoking two to three short trips under 30 minutes are okay but definitely don't do a long trip right after uh, painting them clear coats offer some chip protection that other paints don't Gloss clear coat doesn't offer as high of heat protection than a satin clear coat. If you use a primer, make sure it is a VHT primer. Non-VHT primer will soften under a VHT paint during the baking process. It will eventually flake and peel off and it will happen uh, pretty quickly. Lastly, I didn't go into detail about how to do the cracked paint effect or the rustic effect. So if you have any interest in it, hit me up in the comments. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.